Uh, it's getting windy out there, so if you hear some strange noises, that's what it is. Um, I've also, I've moved my hat around, you may notice. My easel is now over here. That seemed to be working quite well because I can get to the camera and I can see what's going on here. Hi, Melissa. I don't know what we're painting yet. And hi, James. Um, I don't quite know what we're going to paint yet. Uh, it's one of these nights that I'm, my brain is somewhere else. Um, so what I've done is that I've done a black canvas because I like doing black canvases and I did notice on another site that I belong to someone was asking what to do with a black canvas um, so I thought I'll do an another one I've covered it <clears throat> with a little bit of linseed oil now you haven't got to go and get any expensive linseed oil I have when I've run out um, or couldn't find this I have actually used um, just some sunflower oil. I know you're not supposed to, but it didn't come to any harm. The painting is still in one piece, so linseed oil is probably best. So what colours have I got tonight? Well, to be honest, because I'm not sure what I'm doing, um, total out there, because I'm, I'm still doing these two commissions and they're drying now, but my head's still full of them. So I'm having to step away from that and think outside the box. So. We'll see where it goes. You might have some suggestions as we're going along. Feel free. If I can, I, I will accommodate. If I can't, then hey, this could be an interactive painting lesson. How cool would that be? So the colours that I've got, I've literally laid out all the colours. Not all the colours that I have, but all the colours, um, the, the main colours. So I've got the titanium white. Oh, and if you're watching on YouTube later on, they will be scrolling along the bottom. Um, titanium white, phthalo green, phthalo blue, Prussian blue, and ivory black, Van Dyke brown and dark sienna, deoxazine purple, alizarin crimson, sap green, and over here with Indian yellow, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, cadmium orange, and cadmium red. So, where are we going to start? This is going to be good. You'll have to let me know. I knew that was going to be a pain. I might have to move that shelf, but I didn't do it just yet. Okay, so where are we going to start? I'm going to start with, my phthalo green is running everywhere, so I'm going to start with a little bit of phthalo green. And I'm going to put it down here because maybe I've got an idea that there'll be some water. So we just scrape that along here and the only reason I'm starting down here with the phthalo green is because as I say, it's actually running off the, it's running off the palette. But if phthalo green is not a colour I use an awful lot because I tend to think of it as more of a tropical colour. And it's also, it's extremely strong. And once you've got it on your canvas, it does tend to dominate. So we may have to put a little bit of brown over the top of it at some point. Right, just make sure that's dry. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> nice to see you, so to speak. Right, I'm going to start with, I'm going to go into the Indian yellow because it's a translucent colour. And if that's my water, might have a little bit of mountain there, a bit of mountain there, a bit of water. So my horizon is going to be there. So there's my horizon. I'll just take that along. Just scrub it in if we can change it as we go along. So if I'm going to do that, let's have a little bit of cadmium orange. Now this is going to show up. What I might do is sort of like take it off at an angle. So it's nice, bright and colourful. Although it's done on a black canvas, it will be nice and bright and colourful, cheerful. 
and I'm going to go straight from that. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit down here in case I want a little bit reflected in the water or the snow, or I'll probably do a little bit of snow down there as well. Hi, Jenny. Gosh, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> haven't spoken to you in ages. We're all so busy these days. Trying to teach and homeschool. That must be a challenge. <laughs> okay, so. Going to put some alizarin crimson in here. I say I'm only putting a very, very light thin coat of it. I'm basically just putting some underpainting down so that when I add the white, it will all pop a little bit. Now I'm going to add it down here and I'm going to go into where the phthalo green is and that will make a sort of a, that will dull it down a bit and make a sort of a grey colour. Okay so we'll put a little bit down there, we'll come up here a little bit and then for the very top I'm going to use my purple. I'm not going to have blue in there at the top, we're going to have purple. We're going to have a really bright Colourful sky, actually it's a bit like a rainbow, isn't it? But we're going to have a really bright, colourful sky. So, say it's dawn or dusk. I must admit, we tend to have the most colourful skies here, anyway, in the morning. Okay. I'm not going to put, oh, no, I'm not going to put any down there. What I am going to put down there is a little bit of brown. So I'll just clean my brush. Really well, thanks. Hope you guys are well. Yeah, we're fine. Thank you. We're sort of like isolating like the rest of the planet at the moment. Um, but we're hoping that our inoculations, our, the jab, will be coming up in the next, the next wave of vaccinations. At the moment they're doing the over 65s and the vul clinically vulnerable, which we're not, thank God, goodness. Um, but the next wave we'll see the 60 to 65, the over 60s, which is us. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of liquid white Run it down there and mix it in with, just so that I've got my white is a little bit thinner than it would normally be. So, where's my bright point going to be? I'm going to put it in here. Now, the only thing with this is that when you start, don't go back. Okay, so now I'm doing a little cross. I'm not in the cross, I'm not cross at all. My mind is blown. I'm doing this absolutely wonderful, it is a really, really nice commission. It's absolutely beautiful, if I say so myself. I, I'm really enjoying doing it, it's quite a challenge. But it's um, an awful lot of buildings on a hillside and you've got to get the perspective right and the buildings right and oh my goodness me. But, customer is happy, I'm happy, the world is good. Okay, so, put a little bit on the edges. I will come back and, that looks a bit uniform to me, but don't worry, that won't be uniform for long. So we'll come down here. There we go, and we'll just go across. I'm going to wash my brush. Quite a bit of wash quite a bit of wash brushing, quite a bit of brush washing. I'm glad you like the colours, Melissa. They're um I say it it's strange how you can get a really bright, bright painting from a black canvas. So I'm going to fade this in a little bit, blend it in. Again, never go back because you don't want to take all your 
your dirty brush into the clean colour, except for the inside. Let's do a little bit down the side. What are we doing down here? Oh, I forgot a bit. There we go. Okay. So, basically, that's my horizon just there. So what I am going to do again is take a little bit of this white ooh, and we'll go across, straight across because water is flat. Come round the corner. I did take the colours round the corner, didn't I? Yep. And then And blend it all together. Okay. Well, that's quite bright and cheerful. I think I can live with that. Wash my brush again. Um, right, I think we need some clouds going in here. But I'm not going to... What paint are you using? It's oils. Um, it's all oils. It's a mix between the Bob Ross colours, um, Windsor and Newton and Dale and Rowney. Um, I tend to only use the cheaper oils when I'm doing um, the flowers because they seem to have, they're, they're softer, they're not as hard and they seem to flow a little bit easier. But for this kind of thing. So what colours are we going to have? We are going to have a little bit of purple. And I'm going to mix it with the white so that we can have up here where we've got some clouds, we can make some shapes. I'll go mix, like so, mix them in. So there we go, mixing it across. Have a little bit stringy, a little bit of straight. Again, mixing it over. Pippa, hello. How are you doing, my lovely? You all right? It's absolutely brilliant talking to you the other day. I feel like it's a lifetime since we've seen each other. <laughs> Pippa's kindly put. I think I've said before on previous videos, um, I've got some paintings up in Pippa's um, pantry there. Just do a little bit of light there, have a little bit of pink maybe, up in the, um, the village in her shop while it's closed. We've got, it's really, really nice. People can see them as they're walking past. It's all sorts of crafts, it's not just my paintings. It's, uh, it's very colourful. And if you like sunflowers, there's only one place to go. And that's Pippa's, because she's got loads. Right, I'm doing some, adding some pink to the bottom. Because I just feel we would have a little bit of pink showing, a little bit of light. Since we've got purple clouds, I don't think they'd be um, black or anything. or white highlights I think they'd be and then we'll come down and we'll bring the pink down turn it a little bit more pink a little bit more of the white and then we'll have some we'll have a big old cloud big pink cloud there we go really going to be a biggie He's going to come in like that. He's going to come in and boss everybody about because that's what he's like. There we are. And I'm going to use a little bit of the yellow to highlight him. There we are. And I will blend all these together. And then we'll just have some streaky ones over here. Can't all be fluffy, can't all be big bosses, can they? They've got to be. That's yellow. 
want some yellow now. So it is going to be bright. It's going to be unusual. It's not going to be my usual thing, but like I said, I'm really needing a bit of inspiration tonight. And I thought colours are always my inspiration. Any snowmen today? No, Lauren, there's no snowmen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't tell me. You're not going to watch now that you know there's not snowmen. Okay, we'll mix that. There we go. Mix that down there. Then I'm just going to have a few of these, quite a bit lighter. And they're going to come across onto her horizon. Okay. So, then I'm going to wash my brush. I'll tell you, my brain isn't working. I keep wanting to say I brush my wash. Which is crazy. It's not even English. Right, now, I will take a two-inch brush. Make sure it's good and dry. And we will go up, first of all, to our purple clouds. Give them a good little stir around. There we go. Fluff them up a little bit. Because I really want them to be in the situation where you're sort of like, is that a cloud? Or is that just the paint? There we go. Okay, just knock off the paint. Now I'm hoping, let's say, I've moved my easel over here. I've totally rearranged all my hut because, so there were a few comments that couldn't see what was going on properly. It's a little bit too orange, so we'll brush that out a little bit. There we go. So I thought, well, if I move everything around, I can get a different camera angle, and hopefully everybody can see things. Everybody can see everything. Please let me know if it's any better. did have the fire on for a little while as well earlier, that was, but that's gone off now, so it's died out because it's a lot, lot fire. And now I don't have any, any furniture on at this time. <laughs> Tell my husband what happened last time, I didn't believe it, he said there's nothing there, but there we are. Anyways, I've just got sensitive eyes. Okay, we'll come across that, bring that in a little bit. Right, just stepping back and having a little look, see what's what. As it's that kind of time of day, I do want a little bit brighter, just there. So I'm going to go back into my white. Just a little bit, don't want a lot. I'm sure I can bring myself to watch even though there's no snowman, you're just too kind. So I'll just give that a little bit more of a brightness. I'm not going to go far. I'm not going to go far with it. Just a little bit. Here and there. There we are. Just to give it a little bit brighter. Okay. And a clean two inch, and we'll just brush that in. Okay, not doing anything particular with it, just brushing it in. Okay, and so that I think is that I will leave the sky alone. But don't forget, I'm not totally ideal got any ideas where this is going so do feel free to is it meant to be a sunset it can be a sunset or a sunrise or 
it's up to you. Now I'm going to mix, I've had to scrape off all my, work, all my oils from the um, commission because, okay everyone, you know I have chickens. Well they came in the hut with me and I had my old palette laying down on the, the bottom of the easel ready for tonight. And they came in and they bounced all over it and they went off the far side and it had already been split but it split totally in half. It's, it's gone. So I had two pieces of one palette this size, it just split right the way across. And of course the noise made them panic and I had feathers and stuff everywhere. So yes, I'm back on this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do I think I fancy some like high pointy shall I? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for a sort of a Harry Potterish type hills and castles and pointy things. There we are. Sort of raggedy cliffs. And we'll bring those down. So all I'm using here, we'll bring it all the way down into the sea. So all I'm using is, excuse my elbow guys, brown, Van Dyke brown and black. And I'll bring this down. Where far did I bring it down to about there? Dolphins are in the sea. Lovely colour choice. Oh, thank you. So this will just be a huge cliff. I was going to school with a boy called Cliff. I'm still friends with him on Facebook. Brilliant. Not that you needed to know that. Just made me think of him. Excuse my back, guys. Admire the t-shirt. My Elvis donated it as a painting shirt. <laughs> I have normal clothes and then I have my painting clothes. And I have normal clothes that then become painting clothes because I've painted in them and got paint everywhere. So I'm going to do, so all I'm really doing is lots of jagged shapes. And I want really steep cliffs. So when my eldest outgrew it, well not outgrew it, but he, uh, it was an old t-shirt he didn't want anymore, so. So all I'm doing, like I say, is just filling this in. Lots of tall cliffs and come across might even turn that into a bit of a castle what do you reckon bit of a castle built into the the cliff what do you think should we do that okay so we do a little bit up there we need some more paint some more black some more brown yeah, good idea. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so across there, put a little bit in there, and then we'll come up with the central bit there, another pillar. I'm going to go around the corner so you can see what I'm doing still. Okay, and then we'll do another straight bit across there. And there we've got a few towers now. There's that cliff up there, a little bit there I think we'll have, maybe, there we go, and I'll put some lights in and stuff so you can see that. So that's the castle up there, so we better have a bit of a path to come down. There we go, there we are, okay. 
and we'll come across to there. Then we're going to need to come down as far this side. So again, just taking some more, laying some paint on and the brush will do the rest. Okay, so put that down there. And then I'm going to bring a little bit more. And I think I'll go there. And we'll have a little bit there. There we go. And that'll do. Okay, that's my Excuse me. I'm stone cold sober. Right, taking the brush. Going to take where my horizon is, which is around here somewhere. And I'll just bring that down. Okay, and that, so that's going to be my reflections because the water looks quite still. So we'll bring that across there like that. There we go. Right, let's add some colour to it. There's a little bit, a little bit of reflection, reflected light. So we've got some pink. So let's get and grab a little bit of pink. Perhaps have a little bit of pink on this one. Just touching here and there. Bouncing in and around. Not here. Pink and a bit of a yellow on this one. Yeah, and that all. Bit of a ledge. Ledge, not an edge. That will do a little bit of a top to this as well. Bring it down. There we go. There we are. Bring that down into there. And then just if I wipe my knife, I'm only wiping it on some kitchen paper over there. And then bring that down. There we go. And that's just need to come this way. There we go. Okay. So we've got some colours growing, a little bit of purple near the top, shall we? And I'd say it's just hitting here and there. There we go, round the corner. Now I'm holding the knife really, really fine, really lightly, because I'll have a little bit of light yellow here because otherwise you end up icing a cake as they say we don't want that okay so we'll put some of the color okay bring that down put a little bit of yellow on there as well there we are just a bit bring that down into the water so I need a little bit of yellow reflected, not a lot, a little bit of pink, again not a lot. Here we are. Uh, what did I have? A little bit of orangey pink. And then a little bit of the purple right at the top. Okay. So, there we have it. So I'm going to take that sort of orangey pinky colour around the corner because I just think come down a little bit with it. There we are. Don't forget that's getting dark around there. There we are. Okay. So I'll just open up my kitchen paper so I can wipe the knife on it. Right, so now I need got a new blending brush, I don't know 
look at the bad it's going to be. So just, just wipe that down just so we've got some colours reflected. There we are. And to leave it over there so I remember to clean it. Which is, as those of you who know, I very rarely do. Okay. A little bit of light coming around the corner. Okay. And so that's my. Oops, come on. I need to get a little bit there. There we go. And that's a little bit of reflection disturbance. Okay, so up here, going back to my castle. All right, my castle that's up there. So I need to make some little holes in the window. Holes in the window? Oh, for goodness sakes. Will somebody speak for me, please? <sighs> Little holes in the wall for windows. That one's going to go right in the corner. And then I think, what about, this looks really good, place to have An entrance. There. Now, I don't know if you can see that yet, but you will when I add a little bit of colour. So I'm going to go into the yellow. We'll have a little bit of yellow. Because there's a, the witches or whoever are home. So. Whoever lives in the castle, who lives in a house like this? There we go. Okay. All right, and a little bit of yellow over here. So just for a little bit of light, there we are. Now, down here, we'll do a little bit of light shining through there. There we go. <laughs> Hi Becky, how you doing? You eaten all your chocolate yet? My Valentine's, Becky for Valentine's got a couple of bars of chocolate with, with names and stuff on really big ones, they're lovely. I don't know if that was all for Valentine's but because I'm doing this slimming world, don't worry, I'm just tidying up. My husband has ordered me, well, I ordered them on behalf, because when you've been married as long as we have, you tend to just order stuff and say, there, that's my present. Um, we've, um, yeah, so I've ordered a sweatshirt and a mug that says, I would rather be gardening and hanging out with my chickens. And that's what I've got. Uh, we saw a man that looked a lot like your gnome you painted on Christmas. <laughs> I liked my gnome. Right. But he wasn't a snowman, so Lauren didn't like him much. <laughs> I'm going to put, because I just feel it's lacking a little bit of something just there so i'm just going to bring that in just a little bit there we go little bit of light i know there'll be shadow behind that crag but there and i'm actually gonna make that disappear there we are okay over the other side what am i going to do at the other side guys come on should i do another come on lauren you're my ideas lady Um, I'm not going to do a big, what time are we? Half past, oh, we've got time. I won't do another castle, but I will do some more cliffs. Perhaps these are closer in. So I'll go around the corner here first. And bring them down. Oh, can't have a straight line, Ruth, come on. But cliffs. 
the higgledy piggledy. I've lived near cliffs most of my life. I ought to know what they look like. And living in Norway and living um, in Galston, I ought to know what a cliff looks like. And for those of you who don't know Galston, well, how do you know? Has anybody else been to Galston? Where I used to live? Right. If anybody does want to go to Galston, it actually has a better beach than Great Yarmouth. So, there, I've said it, I've been controversial, but it seriously is a much better beach. It's a lot sandier. Yarmouth Beach is very stony. Galston Beach is very sandy, although they did lose a large chunk of it in the last storms. Right, so... We'll have those ones further back, maybe. There we go. Okay. No, that doesn't look right, so we'll bring them for all forward. There we go. So we can perhaps bring that out into the Done with the cliffs now, guys. Happy with, happier with them. Now, if these are like Galston cliffs, could Trev not model for me? <laughs> no, they haven't arrived yet. Trev's actually feeling sorry for himself, actually. He's um, been to the dentist today and he's not a happy bunny. He's, um, for those of you who don't know, Trev's my hubby. But he's, um, he's been to the dentist today and he's had a filling and um, or something else done, I don't know what it was. It was something to filing down and catching up and something horrible. Um, and then a deep clean and he's got really sensitive teeth, bless his heart. So yeah, he's not a happy bunny tonight. So. Best not bring him along, eh? Okay, so now I'm going to take, now this is closer, so we're going to have that come round and down like that. So, so even though I've brought it around, so like this is a long way away, and this is getting closer. You'll notice I always keep my knife straight and bring it down. Okay, and then it starts to look like it's closer to you. Okay, let's keep that straight. There we are, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to put the same colours again. In fact, I might just do pink on some of this. Just to have a bit of reflection. Just over the top, show that they're flat, a few bits going down, a bit of a yellow shall we, up here maybe, Different cliffs, different catching the light, different ways. Do you need to just take it round the corner on both? There we are. In fact, while I was waiting for Trev in the dentist, I did. I've got a security camera here that I keep an eye on my chickens, and I did have a little look, and I, I panicked. I couldn't see them. <laughs> But they were all feeding, so they were hiding from the camera. They all sort of appeared after a while. Right, so I'm going to take the white, take some yellow, take a little bit of pink. I say I'm not mixing this, I'm sort of leaving it all colours really. 
and then I'm going to just put in some waves, cut them across, little sparklers. There we are, right across, and then I think down here, coming across here, we'll put that crashing onto the shore a little bit. So, shall we do the same with that? There we are. That's crashing onto the shore a little bit. Okay, take your fan brush and just take these back a little bit. Because they are waves. I'm not going anywhere with them far because they're only little ripply waves. There we are. Is everyone still out there? There we are. Now leave this dark piece, you must leave this dark piece because that is your divider between each wave. That's what makes each wave show up and become its separate wave. There we are. And then for these bits back here, I'm just going to leave that in there because otherwise I'll forget it again. Take a dry clean brush must be dry just go over them knock the excess off drag it out drag it over Just drag them straight and basically there we are. Okay, now to be fair, from not knowing what on earth I was going to do to coming up with this, I'm actually quite pleased. So, this no, that's a wrong one. Try this one. Does that? Oh, that feels better. So I'll get my red and I will. You wouldn't think signing your name was so difficult, would it? Alright, I'm going to put my R, B, like that. And there we have it. Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to call this one. This <laughs> is on the back of a postcard, please. Um, I did originally think it was going to be wavelength because I was going to do a big wave and then I didn't fancy doing that, so I don't really know what I'm going to call it. But whatever I call it, it will be on my website, rbart.co.uk uh, forward slash store. It will be up on there in the next couple of days, but it won't be ready for moving. It's, they're taking about two to three weeks to dry um, because it's so cold. In the summer they take a matter of 10 or 15 days. But I hope you like it. It's a little bit different and um, just shows the reflections. You haven't got to have a blue sky and blue water. You haven't got to have green and browns and yellows for mountains and rocks you can you know they they reflect they're wet and they reflect the light just like the snow and just like the water so let's say rbart.co.uk be up on youtube very very soon and um, i've been able to get it up on the last couple of days so that's good now next week we should still be in lockdown so i'll say i will be back next week but monday i believe um is when we find out when this madness is all going to end <laughs> hopefully okay so in the meantime carry on doing what you're doing stay safe stay calm 
enjoy better weather is coming so rumor has it and i will see you same time same place next week thank you so much for joining me i really do appreciate you coming along and all your comments it's wonderful making lots of new friends which is great so take care see you next time